Hi students and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, we have studied about the concept of similarity and what are the conditions that decide the similarity of polygons. In this lecture, we are going to extend this concept to understand the similarity of triangles. Here we are going to study some very basic theorems and see how these theorems help us to derive some of the very important results in geometry. Further, we will understand what are the other conditions that helps us to find the similarity in two triangles and also through many examples we will see how these theorems and corollaries are used in solving problems. So without wasting any moment, let's begin. So in the previous lecture, we have tried to understand the concept of similarity of figures. So we are going to extend the same concept in understanding the similarity of triangles. Two triangles are similar if the first condition is their corresponding angles are equal and the second condition is their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. Thus we can say that two triangles are similar if the first condition is their corresponding angles are equal and the second condition is their corresponding sides are in the same ratio or they are proportional to each other. So let's try to understand these two conditions. Now if we consider two triangles, this is triangle ABC and this is triangle DEF. Now this is angle A, this is angle B and this is angle C. Similarly, this is angle D, this is angle E and this is angle F. Now for two triangles ABC and DEF to be similar, angle A must be equal to angle D angle B must be equal to angle E and angle C should be equal to angle F. That is the corresponding angles of triangle ABC must be equal to the corresponding angles of triangle DEF. And the second is the corresponding sides must be in the same ratio. That is AB by DE must be equal to BC by EF and that should be equal to AC by DF. So the first condition is the corresponding angles must be equal and the second condition is the corresponding sides must be in the same ratio. Thus in this case we see that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Now let's study one of the most important theorems in similarity of triangles and which is known as the Thales theorem or the basic proportionality theorem. It says that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides, then it divides the two sides in the same ratio. Now this is a theorem given by Thales and that's why this theorem is also called as the Thales theorem. And this theorem says that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides, then it divides the two sides in the same ratio. So for this theorem, a line should be parallel to one side and this line should intersect the other two sides. Now the theorem says that the parallel line divides these two other sides in the same ratio. So let's try to understand the proof of this theorem. We draw a triangle ABC in which DE is parallel to BC and the line DE intersects AB in the point D and AC in E. So what we do is we first draw a triangle ABC in which DE is parallel to BC BC is one of the sides of triangle ABC such that this line DE intersects AB in the point D and AC in E. Now we have to prove that AD by DB is equal to AE by EC that is the line DE divides the sides AB and AC in the same ratio so that AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. Now we make a construction we join BE CD and draw EF perpendicular to BA and DG perpendicular to CA. So this would look similar to this figure. This is the triangle ABC. DE is a line that is parallel to side BC and intersects AB at the point D and AC at the point E. Now we have to prove that AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. And the construction is we join BE, CD and draw EF perpendicular to the side BA and similarly we draw DG perpendicular to the side AC. So to prove the Thales theorem we do this type of construction. 
not through the construction EF is perpendicular to AB. Therefore, EF is the height of the triangles ADE and DBE. So if we consider this triangle ADE, then EF would be the height of the triangle because EF is perpendicular to the side AD. Similarly, if we consider the triangle DBE, again EF is the height of this triangle because ADE and triangle BDE are contained between the same parallels. So the height of both these triangles that is ADE and BDE are the same and which is equal to EF. Now the area of triangle ADE would be equal to 1 by 2 into base into height and that is equal to 1 by 2 into AD into the length of perpendicular which is EF. Thus the area of triangle ADE is equal to 1 by 2 into AD into EF. Similarly the area of triangle DBE is equal to 1 by 2 into base into height and this would be equal to 1 by 2 into the, the base here is DB and the height is again EF. So this would be equal to 1 by 2 into db into ef. Now the area of triangle ade divided by the area of triangle dbe would be equal to we divide these two areas and get 1 by 2 into ad into ef divided by 1 by 2 into db into ef. ef and ef and 1 by 2 gets cancelled and what we get is ad by db. So the area of triangle ade divided by the area of triangle dbe is equal to ad by db. Let us say that this is equation number 1. Now similarly, area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle DEC would be equal to 1 by 2 into AE into DG, where DG is the height of this triangle. Similarly, area of triangle DEC would be 1 by 2 into EC into DG. Again DG is the height of this triangle DEC. So DG and DG gets cancelled and 1 by 2, 1 by 2 gets cancelled. What we get is AE by EC. Thus area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle DEC is equal to AE by EC. And let us say that this is equation number 2. But we also know that triangle DBE that is this triangle and triangle DCE are on the same base DE and between the same parallels DE and BC. So the area of these two triangles must be equal. This is because they lie on the same base which is DE and they are contained between the same parallels DE and BC. And so the area of triangle BDE is equal to the area of triangle DCE. Thus we can say that 1 by area of triangle DBE is equal to 1 by area of triangle DEC taking reciprocals on the both sides or area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle DBE is equal to the area of triangle ADE divided by the area of triangle DEC. Thus what we get is AD divided by DB equal to AE by EC and this is nothing but the Thales theorem. Thus we can say that DE divides the sides AB and AC in the same ratio and this is the proof of Hill's theorem.